So I just don't understand why people think like if they watch a series like this that has genuinely good information, why they they I don't know they think like if they watch it once they, they're gonna be SSO instantly, whereas they, they, they take it for granted and they think they don't have to practice anything. You're still gonna have to practice something. You're not gonna just watch something and it'd be insane. Some people literally watch something though and still go up two ranks though. But like yes, you're gonna have to practice something. It's not that hard. Just practice it. All right, we just wait. He's not coming out, so we wait. Single jump to the side. Flip to the side. If he went, it would have been an outplay. Now, you could go up and shoot here, but we can also try to take time, right? Fake a touchdown here. A single jump. Fake a touchdown here. If he goes, he misses, right? So that's one of them outplayed. So now, there it's valuable to go for it. And as a grand jump, you should be able to. Why is this valuable? Because one of them committed because I didn't do f***ing shit. He misses. Now, this guy's the last one. He hits it into me. If he hits it into me, then, you know... I could try to shoot. If I don't hit the shot, it could be a middle pass, right? There's a potential reward. I'm a first man, he's the last man, he's hit the ball into me, right? I'm just saying champ 1, champ 2, apparently do clean fakes. Yeah, but I'm saying that you, a clean fake is easier than a lot of stuff people can do at champ 1 or champ 2, and you should just practice it, right? Thank you for the sub, man. Thanks for supporting. Right, let's go for back boost here. I say need boost to like kind of tell him that I'm going for boost. I try to get his boost as well here, and then maybe just get a flip middle. Let's try. Let's fake a shot here. He's also there. Good fake. He didn't score. What the f***? Dude, that was so free. So that guy could have waited on their boost. I can maybe beat this guy. I'd be here. Fake a hit. So he goes. He take mid boost. He gets back boost. Try to bump. Even if we didn't get the bump, we just be back, right? And just be here on the wall where the ball is going to end up. Get the boost. Don't get bumped. Free ball. If I'm fast, this is one one right? So do this. You could challenge. Parcel like cut. Parcel like cut. Fake jump. See how hard he pooped his pants? This is literally what I've been telling you to practice, bar select cut, and then follow it on every bounce. After the second bounce, you could you could then go up for a shot, you could then go up for a single jump into a fake. There's a lot of shit you can do. I just single jump here to make that make it look that I go. I can just single jump here. If it doesn't work, I can always go back, right? Just try to not hard commit, right? Teammates should just go for boost. It's not about the ball here, buddy. It's not about the ball. It's not about the ball. It's not about the ball. In the end, he just hits it away, which is sad. Make sure I don't get too close. If he gets beat, then I need to be behind him. And beat this guy to the boost. Make sure I'm in a position where I could always drive forward. He pinches it in. I take the free goal. Pretty Pete. You're so pretty, my dude. My dude. Thank you for the three months as well. Alright, just be opposite side, just wait, it's fine to stop, don't be that guy, don't don't push up and turn, don't be, don't, don't be that guy, just stay, sit in a new position. Right, I can drive forward, now I can fake challenge him, now he's hit it, now I can try to put it into the corner, right? If he hits it past me, I just go back, right? Be here, we can even fake a hit here. Then go up, he goes, and the teammate should be there to go, he goes, which is well played, if he didn't go, then they get a shot from close up, right? Be here, he could hit, so we cover his hit. I've cut too far back, so I cut myself. I do have to go up here and just flip to the side just to make sure they can't score. B here. It's a decent touch, actually. Just faking here again. I right, think to speed up the play because there's a guy behind me, we might get a free goal, right? Get boost and instantly f off. You have to know your last man at this point. He's playing through your corner, which is what you want. Just grab all the boosts that's here, cover the shot. And free 1v1 now. I should have taken mid boost. Because now that, now that I'm basically waiting for nothing. Uh, whereas if I took mid boost, then that guy would have had a slower recovery, right? Hopefully he booms. Let's see what he does. Hopefully he flicks. He flicks. Try to bump him, maybe. Right, this could be. I also jump because if, if let's say they shoot from up close and my teammate pushes up, they get a free goal, right? So I, by jumping up, I ensure the fact that they can't score because at least one of us is there. Right? This is here. Let me just take a 50. It's all good, dude. As long as you said goal side, I can now also go back. We just try to go up, get a touch. Be behind my team, and if he gets beat, then I'm behind him. Don't be that guy that pushes up. You don't need to be aggressive. You don't need to be cool. Now I'm a first man. I can be here, though, to put pressure. He shoots. Teammate should have, right? He passes it away to them, so it's kind of their ball now. They could boom, so I have to wait. All right, he's not booming, so then we make him play. He flicks. I put it into safety. All right. If teammate could, could have grabbed the boost here, then he would have helped out in the efficiency. It doesn't help out, but you know you can't expect him to help out. They might have a flip reset. Ball goes over here, since so they grab the boost. Be here to fake a hit. A single jump, and then I hit it at the end. Let's try and try and bait them into uh, to challenge there. While well, hitting it over him, my teammate might get challenged. So I can always drive forward. So he's gonna turn back, and I have a free ball. Right, away we wait. I fake a hit up. Try to just double jump or something. <coughs> I could take, and also just take a 50 here again. Like you don't you don't have to do much. It's not. I see a lot of people trying to outplay so much as well, and then they themselves up with, like trying to outplay like 
oftentimes you know you could just go for a 50 i'm not saying that's better or anything but you know in the end if you don't if you're not sure if you can get a touch or a clean setup then you know just going for a 50 works I fake it to the left fake it to the left so again just going for a 50 because there's two guys B here and just fake a hit here single jump after this bounce to generate bigger pop B here fake a hit single jump he's trying some shit right i almost i almost had a free two we want to take the back boost here he takes it which means i don't have any boost but it's fine as long as i drive with it i don't have any boost so he's also going to take that shit also miss a pad back i still like just sit in a 50 position try to flip here to get it over one and that that's kind of mechanical but like just showing you also that you know you don't really need a lot of boost i also miss the pad and shit but you know by doing this i bait him in i keep the ball close i can flip and then i get a, a pre-flip into it Grab some pads. My team is gonna boom, thinking that's good because he's played free play and he's just wanna he just wants to hit the ball. Uh, make sure we're on one side, driving towards the other side. Hopefully. So if, this, if something like this happens, it means you probably have to challenge because uh, you know you don't want to let them shoot from up close. But then again, if I challenge right about now, then one of them could have also beaten me. You know, it's kind of a, a rough situation, and that's also why my teammate says my fault, right? Because it leaves me in a two v one, right? <laughs> It's all good though. These guys are mad, poggers. So again, just tell him to go. You wanna you, like if you go for kickoff, he's gonna be the last one. Do you wanna rely on your solo queue fing cuck teammate? No, preferably you wanna rely on yourself. So if you make a mistake, you can blame yourself. Fake jump because ball's in the air, so he thinks we're gonna go. Ball could hit the ceiling. I'm just gonna double jump. Try to hit it. Make sure I don't get too too much forward momentum, right? If I get too much forward momentum, there's a bigger chance of me just passing the ball to them. Alright. Actually went in, others, one, two, three. So because I don't get too much forward momentum, my teammate has a free ball. Whereas if I hit it more towards them, more towards there, so there's a chance that the opponents are just going to challenge or take a free ball, right? So you also just don't want to hit it too far away from your team. <clears throat> Alright, I'll just take this shit, take the back boost, because no one is going to need the back boost anyway. There's a chance the opponents are going to take it in, in, in like 5 seconds, so just take a good 50. They commit it as the last one, a mid pass would be nice here, does a mid pass and then we adapt, he's there, so we let him hit. And there's a guy behind us, so we play away from him. We play diagonally, parse like cut, fake it to his right, or left I mean, and then try to 50 it, maybe even use a delayed flip. It didn't work though, but you know, it was a decent approach. As long as you don't overcommit hard like my team does here, we're fine. So we fake challenge here, get a touch into safety, get boost, make sure we instantly turn towards net to cover the shot. Good touch, and then you adapt from there. And maybe fake jump, maybe get a demo. So that's a free ball. If he booms, then I'm gonna eat my own ass. Okay. Weird, good. buddy. So flicking past the first man is, is better than instantly hitting it away. Uh, most of the time, you're gonna just flick towards the second guy, which is kind of what happened here. Right? The second guy kind of had a free ball. He just wasn't there to like. He should have just like gone and blocked. Also, the ball was low enough to single jump flip. If you can't single jump flip, then you want to single jump flip. You don't want to double jump if you don't need to, right? <clears throat> I should probably just do normal kickoffs. Instead of trying to lose it, you can maybe turn, he gets here, you can just let it bounce, he might miss, or right here, he might, he might get challenged, so I, I'm on my way back, right, just to play it safe. Right. See if he wants to go. He goes, he could be there, I just leave. I'm sure he challenged when it's threatening, he also goes, so that means he have a free goal, right, nothing you can do about that. I get this question a lot. What do I do if my teammate goes for every ball that, that I go for? Yeah, it's, it happens. You only, in the end, you can only do, you can only improve yourself. You can't improve this misstand guy that's in your solo queue games. You know, it's part of the grind. And we can push up, cover his hit, try to single jump over him, get a free goal. Instead of taking my time, can I do a flick instead of trying to make an outplay or 50? Yeah, if, if, you know, if you're confident you can hit the outplay like 8 or 9 out of 10 times, then sure. It's just like, I like to threaten something so that, you know, that by itself can be a free outplay. Like, if I threaten a flick and he pre-jumps the flick and I don't flick, then that's a free outplay right by itself. Hit it on this bounce. Single jump, he's already there, so we just rotate away. My team is shooting for the challenge, but again, there's nothing we can do about that. I have a fast enough recovery to be able to get back. I say I got it, so you know. Hopefully next time he won't do this anymore. Just be here. I have to single jump because he goes. I wait on this boost. Shit's never gonna spawn. Poggers one, two, three. And he beats two. Push up forward. Fake jump here. Cause I can't reach, but they don't know that. 
I mean, single jump here, if my teammate can shoot that and he can just go for it, it's a pretty bad shot though. Make sure that it doesn't roll up the wall so there is still pressure, right? Try to get the boost, he's gonna beam me so he f off, get mid boost. Almost blocked that shit, he might miss. I'm just fake jumping here so he hits. I have to cover a shot here though, he goes for a shot and now... Let's take it slow, play control, right? Fake hit up, if he wants to go he could hit it into me. Otherwise I can always go back, since my teammate committed I'll just put it into safety. And just drive challenge here. So drive challenge is really good because, you know, either I get a hit on the ball or I get a bump or a demo or something or he beats me and then I can just go back if he beats me, right? <clears throat> I really wanted to go up there and go for a flip reset double tap, hit it to the left. If he challenges, flip high. And free goal. So don't go for a straightforward approach, right? There, it's, it's a touch to the left and to a flick to the right. And the last man, uh, too far up. How did that work? People don't realize that as a last man, they have to be a last man. They think that's fine. Miguel! Thank you for the Twitch Prime, man. I appreciate you, dude. Alright, and just push forward. Be here, he fake jumps, hopefully he hits. He does hit, so we go back. <laughs> be here, just be here, I can now take. Parse like cut. Parse like cut. And free goal, right? You could also single jump on the second part like cut to again generate a bigger pop. If you're not sure, you can hit it on the bounce and you could single jump right about there. And that would make, first of all, a bigger bounce. Second of all, it would ensure that you hit the ball. Uh, Psycho, thank you for gifting four shits, dude. Appreciate you, my dude. Thank you so much. Hope you're doing amazing, Mr. Cook. I try to be middle. Fake jump here. And then a real hit. <coughs> We hit Grand Champ actually. If I go to the gym, I, I went out of my house. I'm in a in a in a building in a, in like at a place where I went. I went there basically to do something, so I have more motivation to do to something that I went there for. What the f am I saying? I don't know. Jigglytoes might be sniping. You play from them. Let's just preach on something. Just try to cover something. <laughs> we, we preferably want to have someone that you know can cover the pass there or at least make them do something from close up So again, it's the same mistake where you have two guys like Kind of like in the same position covering goal line, but that doesn't really do much Just take time here get a self touch because he's far away get A power slide cut fake jump Maybe single jump there if we come down but we suck dicks it's fine Make sure I'm not getting bound make sure I'm opposite side behind my teammate so I could take, hits a pass my teammate, so it's not scoreable anymore, we take the boost, be here, this is a 1v1 if I'm fast, so touching to the left, he's not challenging yet, you could challenge right about now, bar slide cut, touch, bar slide cut, up, move on, take mid boost, so my teammate gets beat, then I'm back, again, free 1v1 if I'm fast, touch, bar slide cut, right. touch behind him, bar slide cut, same thing, yo, come on now, thank you for the 5 kids, please don't fight, please don't fight, the reason why I don't go behind him is because, like, once he turns in, I go behind him. He, if he turns back, I can get a free goal, right? It's up with his positioning. Uh, come here now. Thank you so much for the five gifts. Please don't fight each other for your gift wars, please. All right, he could boom, so no. Ten. No, I'm not paying attention. Preferably, you want to have a guy we can go on the wall there. This is Grand Champ, yes, sir. Die. Thank you so much for the ten gifted psycho. Hey, come, boy. Alright, we just fake challenge. You can maybe get a drive challenge to the side, because if you can get a challenge that you can follow up, that's that's better than fake challenging. Fake challenge is just a safer play. But then again, drive challenge is pretty safe. If you can drive forward to whatever happens, single jump, be on the wall to threaten a hit. He goes up, free 1v1 here. And just get a flick forward, just to put pressure on him, make it no fake jump, get his boost. And f off. I tried something, I was in the corner, you don't want to be that guy. So you can take me out a free ball there, if, as long as he didn't flip into it. He gets a beat, I'm just here, don't want to get bumped, just go for the boost here. He gets a pass, I can maybe beat that guy, I can maybe demo that guy. Um, now that I've chosen to go for a demo, we get scored on, that should have been a goal. So the, the mistake there was that I had left my teammate alone. I'm just sick time, there's no one here yet. I'll fake a hit up. i just take a 50B opposite side of the shit, he misses. So I can now push forward. Try to beat them. Try to have little forward momentum, because the more forward momentum, the bigger the chances that you're going to pass it towards them. So I try to hit the ball sideways so the ball bounces back to me, right? And he's already hit it into my corner, so you don't have to do much. We fake a hit up, be there on the wall. Don't want to get bummed. This could be a goal again. And then the, the, the reasoning of this goal would be that, you know, you don't have good demo awareness. Playing into the boost, you can try to be here. 
try to block because you know preferably we want to leave my teammate in a situation like this. Get a touch into safety, don't want to get bumped here. So yeah, a fake direction change, like uh, get a lot of efficiency there. That's a good shot as well, dude. My flex when you play high level ones the same way that you play against champs. What? Oh, because uh, because of the fact that mechanics are there to help you out. If I play good, I'll, I'll play like the decision making almost as good. But you know, you will have to challenge a little bit more because you can't. Like players are good enough where if you don't challenge them, uh, then they can fuck you up. So you have to sometimes throw in a real challenge in ones. Make sure I'm on my way back and go for boost, and then make sure I just wait out the the bounce. Single jump into a double jump. Um, problem here was kind of that I disrespected uh, his shit here, so I was kind of close here already. Then I went for boost. Then I, you know, don't have the best read. I basically pass it middle. <coughs> so basically, like I, I left too late when he cleared it, so I was kind of under the ball. Then I w went for boost instead of just covering the the wall bounce here. Yeah, he misses. We can maybe just boom to generate pressure. Single jump here to fake. Single jump here. Might be a little me mechanical. You can give them a go school. It's three three right now. But like the reason why I boom here is this is a pass to myself while applying pressure to the guy who the last man also pushed up, right? <clears throat> you were affected all by the flood in the Netherlands? No, it's not. How am I in your game? Is it not you? I actually said this might be a sniper because I... Because I know what jig would be. Make sure I beat him to the boost. That's mechanical. I agree, that's somewhat mechanical though, but it just it's the, take it like as a possible learning experience though. So you might not be able to do that, but you know, it's good to try something like that because there is a guy behind us that we could outplay by hitting it forward, right? I'll fake jump here. See how he leaves instantly? Try to hit it to the right, double jump, be here, fake an air dribble. Try to flick high. Good hit from him, get the boost, we f off, don't want to be in that corner. Take back boost, my teammate doesn't want it, cover the hit. Be on the right side now if he passes. Again, this is a ball you don't wanna you don't wanna double jump for because you don't have to. He's gonna get a hit, which is fine. Take the mid boost, he could he could go, we fake a hit here. Play in field, but that's into him, so after 50, fake a hit. He actually is in a bad position, so we can maybe hit it over him. Again, by just single jumping, we don't commit that hard, right? If it doesn't work, you'd always you could always just go back, right? <laughs> See he's there. Just let him hit, I can be on the wall. Just flip here, you should be able to do that in Grand Champ. Ball bounces out, can be on the wall here. He's gonna fix all the challenge. You wanna have a guy that does that, otherwise you're gonna have the same mistake of having two cucks on goal line, right? That guy missed. So we just fake a shot. Try to single jump, and save from him. And just f off now. I'll take back boost here. Have a free ball again. Swag. Mechanics ban true. Okay, we're just about out of time, right? But before we go. Get me out of here.